Hello, my name is Xavier and I'm doing a little quick morning tutorial for my morning routine. So I simply just use these three products in the morning, um, starting with the styling cream. Uh, I live by this, especially because of its uh, texture. It's just so creamy and it absolutely smells delicious, which is um, something I was looking for also in a um, product line. Um, typically in the urban hair uh, line, the products don't really smell that good. It more, smells more like chemicals. Um, this is the first product line I've ever had that didn't smell like chemicals. It smelled just like a nice floral scent. Um, it didn't make your hair smell um, like a chemical either. So first I you know, take my towel off and still it's kind of wet. Um, and honestly, I don't really section off my hair um, often, especially in the morning since I don't have a whole lot of time. So I simply have got this down pack. So <clears throat> I start at the back of my hair. So years ago, I cut my hair into a bob. So it was shaved in the back. And so I have a lot of, you know, shorter hair in the back that I always try to get to first to try to elongate it by bringing it down from the root to the end of the hair. So I start out just from the back, try to get as much as I can. I'll move these products out of the way. And I can just get a little dollop of it and work my way back there. And this routine only takes me about five minutes or so, not too long. Again, I rub it again, go to the middle section where my calic is, where it needs a lot of the cream. And so I section it off as I go through. I don't necessarily section it off by parting it and so forth. Then I'm already almost to the front. Get the front sections. I'll flap the hair over just to make sure I got all of the hair. And sometimes it does. The, my hair does dry on me before I get to it. Um, I don't really concern myself too much with that because I feel like imperfect hair is probably the best situation. I feel like it's the most natural, so I don't get really too caught up on. Um, oh well, this curl didn't come out exactly right, so. I just do the best I can, especially in the morning. And so I keep going through it. And I'll put a little bit more if I have some time. I'm like, okay, let me just continue. And of course, I'll start to manually curl as well, just to while I'm doing it and while I feel it. I've been dealing with this hair for many years, so I kind of know where it's gonna, what it's going to do and go and how it's going to curl. All right. I go through my hair once more to just feel like all the product is in there. Um, and I pre-comb it with the, um, while I'm in the shower with the co-wash, which I absolutely love that detangler product as well. So done with this guy. Put this to the side. And then I go for the Curl Sculptor. Um, I love this product, especially. Um, it just makes it like a little bit of a little bit of a crunch, but soft still at the same time. So you don't want to put too much of it. So this also elongates the curl, hydrates, and so forth. So I just put honestly probably a little bit bigger than a quarter size amount, and then of course it's pretty liquidated so I just go through my whole hair I don't section it off once more again um, I just don't see the point um, especially in the morning so I just literally try to work fast and get it through my whole um, head of hair and so I sort of almost like I'm combing my hair with my fingers as well. And then I do a little bit of a, a crunch. And it feels once more like it's all through. 
And this product really does um, spread through your hair pretty quickly. You're, you're wondering at first, oh, it's not enough, but this really does. And um, I'm very impressed by this too. So I put that to the side and then I just finish it up with a uh, the styling gel. Now this is where I do my sort of defining of the curl. So I'll probably use two quarter um, size applications um, just to make sure. And so once more, still not parting it, just going through the motions and just getting through all of the curls and making sure it goes all the way to the end of the curl so that it has that little, the definition at the end. Um, because I went through years and years of perming my hair. Uh, we've all been there where we permed our hair so much that the end of our hair is straight. Um, and so I just want to make sure that I am crunching up. I don't use a diffuser. I'm not a fan of it. Um, I like a more natural air, air, um, air dry curl. So I just go through it again and get the middle go to the middle of my hair and crunch a little bit too and I'm already seeing a big improvement so I'm gonna get the other side I didn't really cater to that get another little quarter size and then come over here crunch it up a bit and maybe give another little application in the middle of my hair right where the calic is is right there at the crown and then I kind of you know glaze the top a little bit push my hair and flop it over to the other side I might get another angle of that curl And then sometimes I will bend over, making sure I get everything, even with those short, shorter hairs where that bob haircut um, was, and just make sure those are treated and not neglected in the process. All right, and that's pretty much my five or so minute morning routine that, that, that I have. And I will come back to you guys because I'm going to let this air dry. And as I go through a couple of hours of the day, when I first have it, I'll usually define the curl more and more and I'll play with my hair a little bit. Um, but for the most part, it takes about, for my hair, it takes a while to dry about three or four hours to be fully dry. Um, and so, of course, I'm not gonna leave you here for that long. And I will see you later and then show you guys the results. Thanks, bye.